Hello students! Today, we will discuss the third market structure, the monopolistic competition. Monopolistic competition is a market structure with the following characteristics. First, there are many firms competing for the same group of customers. Second, firms compete by selling differentiated products. Each firm produces a product at least slightly different from those of other firms. Consumers view each firm's brand as different from those of other firms. For example, Close Up is different from Colgate, Sensodyne, Pepsodent, and a dozen other toothpastes. The difference is found maybe in flavor or reputation. Because Unilever is the sole producer of close-up, it has monopoly power, and it faces a downward sloping demand curve. But its market power is limited because consumers can easily substitute other brands for close-up if its price rises. Unilever will charge a higher price but not much higher than marginal costs. The situation is similar for other monopolistically competitive markets such as jeans, shampoo, or detergent producers. And the third characteristic is that there is free entry and exit. It is relatively easy for new firms to enter the market with their own brands of the product and for existing firms to leave if their products become unprofitable. The figure shows the profit maximization of the firms under monopolistic competition. Because the firm's product differs from its competitors, its demand curve is downward sloping. Monopolistic competitors like monopolists maximize profit by producing the quantity at which marginal revenue equals marginal costs, or graphically, it happens at a point where marginal revenue curve intersects the MC curve. At that point of intersection, the firm's profit maximizing level of output is derived, which is Q star. Then firm uses its demand curve to find the price consistent with that quantity, which is P star. Since price is above ATC as shown in the graph, the firm earns a profit and it is equal to the shaded rectangle in the figure. The two panels in this figure show different outcomes of the firm's profit. In panel A, price exceeds average total costs so the firm makes a profit. When firms are making profits, new firms have an incentive to enter the market. In panel B, price is below average total costs, so firm makes losses. When firms are making losses, firms in the market have an incentive to exit. Again, whenever price is above the average total costs, the firm is earning positive profit. In this diagram, the profit of the firm is equal to the shaded rectangle. And using the formula, profit is equal to 4,000. This positive profit will induce entry by other firms. The entry of new firms increases the quantity of output, which drives the price down, and thus also the profit until it becomes zero. In this case, the firm is unable to make a positive profit because ATC exceeds the price of the goods it sells. So the best the firm can do is to minimize its losses. If firms are making losses, old firms exit. The exit of old firms decreases the quantity produced, which causes the price to rise and thus increases the profit. 
Note that a monopolistically competitive firm chooses its quantity and price just as a monopoly does. In the short run, these two types of market structure are similar. The situations portrayed in the short run do not last long because when firms are making profits, new firms have an incentive to enter the market. This entry of new firms will increase the output and decreases the price, thus decreases the profits also. Conversely, when firms are making losses, existing firms will exit the market. The exit of some firms decreases the output produced and price will tend to rise, thereby increases the profits of the remaining firms. This process of entry and exit continues until the firms in the market are making exactly zero economic profit. Thus, this situation portrays the long-run equilibrium. Once the market reaches its equilibrium, new firms have no incentive to enter and existing firms have no incentive to exit. To sum up, Two characteristics describe the long-run equilibrium in a monopolistically competitive market. First, as in a monopoly market, price exceeds marginal cost. This conclusion arises because profit maximization requires marginal revenue to equal marginal costs and because the downward sloping demand curve makes marginal revenue less than the price. As in a competitive market, price equals average total cost. This conclusion arises because free entry and exit drive economic profit to zero. The second characteristic shows how monopolistic competition differs from monopoly. Because a monopoly is the sole seller of a product without close substitutes, it can earn positive economic profit even in the long run. By contrast, because there is free entry into a monopolistically competitive market, the economic profit of a firm in this type of market is driven to zero.